one of the big concepts that people struggle with when we're trying to maintain a nice tight torso, a nice tight core if you want to call it that, is this thought of bending the bar to activate your lats. What you want to do, a good way to practice, you can put it in a rack, you can even put it on the ground, load it with some plates for a deadlift, but you don't want to actually lift the bar. Get a nice tight grip on the bar. You want to put the bar in the heel of your hand, never in the fingers. In the heel of your hand, wrist straight, you want to wrap around the bar, and you want to literally wrench down on the bar a little bit. Lock yourself in. You're going to have your arms pretty straight, pretty much locked out in the joint. You don't have to jam your elbows into the socket, but locked out nice and straight. Shoulders are in the joint. And what I'm going to do is take along my pinky, the outside of my forearm, my elbow, my shoulder, and I'm going to think about rotating, externally rotating, rotating down on the bar like I'm trying to bend those two corners into each other to meet at the bottom. So when I get set up on this bar, I'm going to lock in, get tight to the bar, and I'm going to take it, pull the bar like I'm trying to bend those corners to each other. Crush it hard, bend it hard, and you can see my lats fire and they actually pull me into external rotation. Doing this will make you instantly stronger and safer because you're locked into the bar. You can transfer more force into the bar. If you get an idea from the back view, take the bar, crush it hard, get set nice and tight, bend it as hard as you can, trying almost like a lat pull down. I'm trying to pull down and bend that bar around me. If you do that when you bench, when you squat, when you deadlift, it'll help activate the lats, you'll have a bigger, stronger platform to pull or press out of.